Good morning, Panther fans. So um, while, while we were preparing to go on, um, I got both sick and injured, so I'm out now. For I'm, I'm day to day, but then I'm gonna become um, a game time decision, and then the next day I'm gonna be week to week and put on LTIR, because that's, that's how it's going around here. We just can't have nice things. We just can't have nice things. We get the win over New Jersey 4-2. And stop me if you've heard this before, but let me know when we get to three and four in a row and and um, then I'll believe again. Stu, yeah. how you doing, buddy? Good, buddy. Um, for, all those, for those observant viewers, this is actually a mug that my son David gave me for my birthday one year. And look what I found. Now, I have a set of these. I think I had six of them. One broke. Yep. I don't remember. I don't know if it was Blockbuster. No, Blockbuster did the Panther Coke things. I don't know where. <coughs> somebody correct me where these I, came from. But these I, are Eastern Conference, honey. That might be Publix, man. Can you see yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see it. Anyway. Yep. That might be Publix. Because you're right. Blockbuster did the Coke things. Yeah. They used to have... I, what I remember um, was when, you know, I started selling eBay in 1999 and 99, 2000. I remember for a while, um, the thrift stores were full of those glasses. <laughs> well, I have, I did it with the Marlins and So one of my friends said, oh, you got to buy all this inaugural merchandise. So, of course, yeah. at the first Marlin game, I went yeah. nuts and bought, you know, Crystal List. I even bought the patch for the guy that was uh, Friends of Heisinger or whatever. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I bought hundreds of dollars worth of shit. Uh -huh. That's worthless. But then I bought a whole bunch of Panther at the first Panther game. Right. I bought a Crystal... Um, yeah, the crystal puck. that was in a puck. Yeah, that's right. Um, I bought a lot of shit, a lot of pins and stuff. Anyway, make a long story short, on my last move, um, and, you know, stupid me writes on there, you know, Marlin and Panther memorabilia. Uh -huh. Yeah, the box never showed up. The box never showed up. Oh, yeah. boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Well, thousands of, between the two, thousands of dollars worth. Of yeah. Shit. Oh sure. Oh Not sure. any. Not that any of it was worth it. I really loved that crystal. Yeah. That yeah, crystal they... stick in the puck, and then it was only like, you know, two hundred of them, three hundred of me. Right. 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 Well, somebody's got it somewhere. All right. So look. Anyway, yeah, the game. All right. So bittersweet win. I predicted a win. I knew that they. I mean, it seems to be like, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like you said in your recap, win one, lose one. Win one, lose one. We need to, we really need to step it up tomorrow night, beat Boston. Right. Come back on Wednesday, keep it going, win on Wednesday, and somebody needs to take her sure, like, yeah. I'm not saying hurt him. But somebody needs to punish him. Just punish him with a with let, let him have some aches and pains after the game. Yeah. That was just a dirty low down piece of shit move that he did yesterday. And I mean, I don't even understand what you know what possesses a player to do something like that. Now you I think saw. Was, you think he was cognizant that he was doing what he was doing? I saw somebody say, and I've tried to watch it a couple of times. Um, and it all happened so fast. But I saw somebody say something where Barkov leaned into him and, like, moved his... Basically, I saw somebody try to explain the ergonomics of it, that it wasn't purposeful. Um, and, look, you can't ever judge intent. That seems like an awfully, awfully... Um, dirty thing to do if it was actually intentional. You know, but, you know, they're, they're, when, when you have the face-off, you know, both guys are kind of leaning into each other. 
Um, I just have a hard time believing he would do that intentionally. You know, I mean, you do have to control your stick at all times, but that just doesn't seem to be like something somebody would set out to do on intentionally. I, I, I think if at some point I'll sit down and look at the look at it and watch it in slow motion and, and see if I can see what was going on with the sticks and, you know, guys lose their balance all the time, especially forward. They lose their balance all the time on the face-offs like that because you kind of ended up leaning into each other. So it's just it's just been that way for this team, man. The whole year has just been that way. I mean, two weeks ago, we're sitting here talking about trading Bob because Knight had the net and everything was, was smoothie cool. And Bob had been playing like ass. And now, and now Bob is, is rolling. Hey, and watch, now that, you have, watch that video. Right. And, and now it's like, well, when do we throw Spencer? It's already too late. It's already too late. Spencer's going to be rusty his first start back. You know what I mean? It's already been too long. So, and then we've got this schedule now where if we don't win these games, it's over. Right? I mean, you know, you could, you could manage it being three points out, two points out, but you start getting five and seven. And it's just, you know, if it was one team or five and seven points out of that's, but there's a group of teams. And eventually somebody's going to put together that five, six, seven game win streak and solidify themselves. And if we don't do it basically before the end of the year, with, with considering the teams that we play, um, we're going to be, we're going to be singing along the long blues in January. Yeah. Well, Bruins on Monday. Devils on, uh, on Wednesday. Yeah. And then I guess we're off for Christmas. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. And then we go to Carolina. Oh, what fun. <laughs> and then um, we come back on Sunday, New Year's. Right. For the Rangers. Rangers. She's. And then Arizona comes in. So let's just take those one, two, three, four, five. So let's right. just take those games. Obviously, no brainer. We got to beat Boston. Do I think we're going to beat Boston in Boston? Mm -hmm. No. They, they, they. It's right. a rarity. It's a rarity that we beat Boston in Boston, and I think. Right. Um, Boston's just a machine right now. And I watched, you know, I watched the game, uh, the replay of the game last night, and Pasternak and Krejci on their power play. They, they you know, in that uh, spot that Ekblad should be doing those one timers. Right. Pasternak was like, right. Forget about it. So we did listen. It I'd, lo I'd love to see a good, solid two in a row, sixty minute effort. And uh, not lose the game on a on a quirky, shitty, dirty goal. Right, right. They're right. gonna beat us. Let them beat us. Right. But um, I think we could beat the Devils again at home. Yes. For sure. Yes. Um. At Friday night, the thirtieth, Carolina, mm. at Carolina, that's gonna mm. be a big test. Right. And then, of course, the Rangers on New Year's is always fun. Yeah. In fact, right. I'd like to go to that game, but. Right. Know, and so, look, I mean, I had a couple of people last night tell me, <clears throat> I want to get your thoughts. Um, I had a couple of people comment that Deanna Sinko looked pretty good last night, um, which is which is which is good because somebody's got to look good because we all know Barkoff generally when he gets hurt, it's it's a slow process. He's not like super, super healer. That's not his his stick. So looks like Dennis Anko is going to get an opportunity here, unless there's some miraculous, you know, recovery with Barkov. I'm sure, I'm sure he's getting the MRI and everything because that that knee bent in a way that a knee should not bend. Um, but you know, and then the other thing is is you know, the the line combinations. It's like I don't even. I mean, I'm calling. I, I don't know how Goldie's keeping up. <laughs> like, I guess that's because it's his only job, right? Not actually, it's not his only job. So I, again, I don't know how he's keeping up because I mean, every 
every game they're they're different and then they're different in the side of the games and there's just I mean we're, we're winning one losing one winner and, and I'm not I've complaining after a, a victory but it's just the, the chemistry you can tell it's just we're just what's the word we're just throwing shit up against the wall for a full 60 minutes and sometimes we get lucky and the shots go in and sometimes we don't and we lose there's no cohesion there's no identity i think that's the word i'm looking for like last year we had an identity oh we're losing three nothing wham wham watch this that was our identity this year um there's 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 no there's no thing that we do that okay well let's do that thing and and we'll turn it on and be good it's just a hockey game and sometimes you win sometimes you lose and it's you know or 500 we are the quintessential 500 hockey team so after the game i uh i sent randy a text they were probably i think they were at commercial and i wrote gets gutsy effort tonight solid win sucks sparky is hurt and missed penalty he wrote back yep adversity all season so right. um you know we've talked about it that <laughs> It's tough when you've had injury and sickness going on. Right. Obviously losing a 34 goal scorer. Right. With the speed that Duclair brings doesn't help. No. Um, and Lundell. You know, as, far, as far as Goldie, I mean, the guy's like one yeah. of the best in the business. Right. That's why, you know, when they uh, do, you know, the World Cups and Stanley Cup finals and the Panthers are not in it, Goldie's always got a job on Westwood One, right, right, uh, right. And right. Randy's the best color guy yeah. too. I mean, yeah. if only Bally. I mean, k- get your shit together, Bally. Is there going to be one broadcast where we don't have glitches or now? Time or out. Something? I I got I got to stop you there because I read something um, where I believe it was I believe the article was in the Athletic, but I'm I'm not sure. A lot of the broadcasts are having the problem. And what the problem is, 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 is the digital ads. They have to run the sound and stuff through a different process. And if the ads malfunction, it can cause the sound, the graphics, it can screw everything up because it's, it's a completely different stuff. So a lot of the broadcasts are having glitches because of the digital ads. Okay. Yeah. Did, so, not know, did not know that. I didn't know that either, but there was somebody had, had come out. It was an article or video, whatever it was. Um, so it's, it's a thing the league is trying to figure out right now okay. because obviously they need the revenue, but at the same point, it, it's causing those sorts of problems all over the place. Yeah. It's frustrating. Yeah. It's frustrating. Actually, there was a play and I think, you know, Barkov didn't score on it, but you know, it froze right when he was shooting it. Like, you know, you're waiting to see if he, if he scored or not. Right. Anyway, right, let's right. get back to the general thing about. The lines. Well, you know, I want to I, I want to talk about Lundell a little bit because this is getting a little bit well, concerning. We talk, you, you mentioned Dadisenko. I didn't get yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Dating a single can't make up for Barkov and Lundell. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I've always been a fan of Dadisenko. Yeah. Okay. Really like the kid. The times you know he's been up three times at least and really has not done anything. Right. Same thing would happen on the Emmy, and I think it, it's attributable to the fact that. They didn't really get any minutes. Right, right, right. You know, they'd be on for a 30, 40 second shift and off yeah. and only right. do that three times a game. So right, right, right. the fact that Maurice threw him in the fire like he did last night. Yeah. And the fact that, you know, on the empty netter, fantastic play. Right. There was another play where, um, you know, he hit the post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, yeah. on a slap shot and boom, I thought it was going in. So, um I, I hope this game gave him a lot of confidence and that, t- t- you know, tomorrow's game. Right. He's even yeah. better. Right. Because, yeah. yeah, we have a we have a big hole to plug. Yeah. Can't say enough about Luz Duranen. Right. Except for the fact that he's passing on two-on-ones <laughs> and he's got a fucking open shot. <laughs> Ooh. But Luz Duranen, man, wing, oh. Uh, we lose a bark off. Okay, we can put loose terrain in and one C. <laughs> Great job. Penalty killing. I mean, the kid, don't forget he was a fourth liner last year. Right. 
right, right, right. So hats off to him. Um, I can't believe they gave that first goal to Reinhardt. I'd have to look at that replay. Yeah. Times because I thought Kachuk for sure right. got his stick on that. Anyway, we'll have to see what happens. Good to have him back in the lineup. Yeah. Um, I like that. Uh, I thought the Luce Duran and Verhege Reinhardt line was good. Yeah. And then um, can't say enough about the Dalpy uh, Lumberg. I, mean, <laughs> I know. <laughs> can't go one video without right. praising Ryan Lumberg for just sheer effort. Right. Energy, man, you know, you never see that guy without a smile on his face. No. Even when he's fighting, he's smiling. Well, if you had that head of hair, you'd be walking around with a smile on your face as well. I mean, let's let's just be honest, you know. I, I just <laughs> here's what I think: the kid has talent yeah. enough to have made it in the NHL. Yeah. Is he Connor McDavid or is he, uh, you know, um, Barkoff with the hands? No. Right. No. He's a guy like the Islanders had guys back in my day, like Dave. Um, no, let's do the Panthers. Billy Lindsay. There's right. your prime. There's your prime comparison. Now I love Billy, you know, but Billy will even admit he never had like superstar talent. How did he get to the NHL? Through hard work and sheer right. determination. And right, when he right. got there. You know, he made There's the best. No drop off. Billy Lindsay, in my book, is Mr. Panther because you just look at the, like the, look at the '96 run. It, yeah. You know, talk about Van Beesbrook, but Billy Lindsay had so many, you know, key assists and goals in all of those series, and of course, he scores the greatest goal in Panther history yeah. when he went around Ray Bork, you know, and yeah, put it in. <laughs> anyway, so I give my hats off to Lombard because. You know, I love just watching him and the joy that he has playing the game. And the one guy I want to mention, um, I've seen this three times at least in the last two weeks, is Mahura just leveling guys that are coming into the crease with Bubba. I've seen it. I've seen it three times, and I think that's coming from playing with Gudis. And and again, that that pairing is is ranked up there in the top five, top ten um, in most defensive stats. So it's it's we we got to we yeah we we we, we got to get that kid signed. We 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 need to get that kid get him extended. Um, yeah. Now good the goodest I'm confused man because it was a concussion, and yeah. then he's questionable. And it's so, but to me, it doesn't make sense. It's like you're either recovered, recovered from a concussion, or you're not. How do you, how are you like, well, I'm okay, and I'm going to go out there and skate. And I, I, I mean, you're either okay or not. That was really confusing um, for them to, you know, and, and for, for them to say he's questionable. It's really odd. I actually, and then, I think, I think Jameson posted that he was going to be playing last night. So I was, my bad on that. I was, I was confused. But yeah, Mahura for sure. Um, now, my man Frank put out a uh, a post in the live stream um, about Forsling being the seven million dollar man. I don't know how many. I I don't know. I think does he have one more year left on that contract keep, or two? Keep talking. I'll look. But I will tell you, he's worth. The, you know he's worth every penny, as opposed to Uyghur thinking he was worth seven million. Google is listening to us because um, it was already typed in for me. Cap friendly. His what? Oh, okay. It, the first thing that comes up is eight million, but it's a three-year, eight million dollar contract on July fifteenth, twenty one. So he's got last year, this year, and next year. Right. So we we have yeah, so, some. So, I mean, listen to this, guys. <laughs> we get a top 10 defenseman. Okay. All <laughs> right. Three years at 8 million. 
Yeah, his his um. So what is that? The cap hit is something? two point. The the cap hit is two point six every each year. Yeah. So yeah. he's worth six seven million easy. Right. Yeah. No. And you gotta and you gotta sign him long term. Right. He's 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 the rock of the defense. Um, yeah. But if we're gonna go down and just do our little uh, critiques, I thought Eckblad had a decent game. Yeah. I wasn't happy with a couple of uh, bad bad decisions with the puck, a couple of bad passes. Um, but I saw. I, I want to mention about Ekblad. Um, on the one goal that ended up being where like the player came like behind our net and then went back around and it ended up in the net. Um, I'm seeing guys purposefully blast past him. I'm seeing them knowingly take advantage of when they get the puck. They don't have to try to juke or do anything. They 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 know that they can just blast right past them. So, yeah. Go well, ahead, continue. It, 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 it wasn't any more apparent how slow as molasses he is than there was an there was one icing where he got beat. Now, yeah. Ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the time when there's an icing, you know, the defenseman is beating the player, and they right. call it around the, the face-off dot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could already see that the, the Jersey guy was going, <laughs> was flying by Ekblad. Right, so, right, right. But, I mean, he he, he did, he, I'm not going to say he cost us a goal, but he was at a position on that second Jersey goal. But he played okay, and right. he got two assists. Yeah. You know, That's that right. shot That's that right. shot that Reinhardt tipped in, yeah, which to me was the backbreaker. Um, and on that play, did you notice Hershey's stick got? I don't remember if who it was, but one of our guys knocked the stick out of her. Yeah, hand. yeah. Did we, we had a going to be a penalty scored? But if you notice <laughs> yeah. on that play, when the puck went against the boards, Hershey like was watching. He didn't like react and do anything. Right. And. Um, Again, yeah, I don't know yeah. if it was loose to Rainin, but they got the puck to Ekblad for the shot. Right, right. We we so. had a Jersey fan in the chat, and when that happened, he's like, "Oh, I guess you just can take the stick out of our hands and throw it, and there's no penalty." Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I feel you. Look, it happens. It happens to all of us. Well, right? we got a little break on that. I think I texted yeah. you at the time. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Um, I thought that I thought the you know the Stall brothers were okay, but comes down to one guy and this guy is just putting the team on his back and leading us and that's Bubba Ruski. Yeah. Number one star again yep. for me is Bob. We continue to get the goaltending that we're getting. And Brandy made a great point after one one of those saves where he said, you know, the players have the confidence to know that if they, you know, make a mistake right. or whatever, right. <laughs> that Bob's going to save their ass. And and I like the fact that you, you know, in the recap last night, you said something about, you know, Bob, you know, yeah, going, stop, you know yeah. stopping the play. You know, that's a veteran yeah. goaltender. Yeah, yeah. And he's, he's done that. But, um, yeah, Bob's been solid. Uh, Spencer's got to get in. But you know what, know. Mike? philosophy is always just to keep riding the hot horse and right i don't expect spencer knight to be in against boston i think let bob play the boston game and then come back on wednesday and let you know at home let knight take jersey but and, you um, know what but then we have the christmas break right i don't know man do you because like i said it's already too late Spencer's already going to be rusty. Do you just do you just maybe give Spencer the first start back from the Christmas break because everybody's going to have had some time off by then and let Bob take these last two since he's on fire? You see what I'm saying? Everybody's going to have been out for a while at that point. So that would kind of even things up. Maybe you give Spencer that first start back. I mean, how do you take Bob out right now? Knowing that Spencer is probably going to be rusty in that first period, you know, right? You can't take him out. You I, know, 
What a crazy it's year. It's just amazing yeah. because <laughs> in the past, we've noticed that usually after four or five in a row. Right, yeah. Bob kind of has a little drop off. Right. But what is it you say, six? I think it's six. And he's gotten better. He's gotten better. We've been in every every game. I mean, the, again, the Penguin game, up until that stupid, you know, whatever, with Ekblad and a shorthand. Right. In which, you know, turn the game around and then just think about it. You know, that one goal that went off Gertzel's skate that could have been called for kicking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the, and then the I, one that listen, killed Malcolm. It, it, I, I can't say with – I don't know if it was a kick in motion. I just think he turned his skate. This is my opinion. But, but you're allowed – that's legal. That's yeah. legal now. They yeah. changed the rule. They changed – exactly. They so changed in my the mind, rule. that was a smart play. And then obviously the uh, Crosby shot off Malkin's, you know, die or whatever. Yeah. So, you know, so you, again, you got – three goals that were scored against Bob that he really didn't have a shot. And then obviously the empty net. So, but in every one of those games, you know, he's been, he's been solid. So yeah, <laughs> you're right. But I think, I don't know. I just think game before the break, it's Jersey, it's home. Right. Yeah. I go at night. Yeah. Bob tomorrow oh, night right. on Wednesday. Right. That's what I do, but right, right, right. I'm not, well, we'll I'm, not I'm not coaching. We'll but I will say, getting back to this whole thing about adversity and the fact that we're, you know, out with so many players. So now I got to give a hats off to Maurice and his staff because at the end of the day, he's the guy that's putting the line combos together. So right, he's doing the best that he can with what he can. So I'm looking at the standings now. What do you think of the power play? <laughs> well, we scored a goal. <laughs> I mean, we scored a goal. Um, we scored a goal quick. We did. Look, the, the, the power play is, I, I don't know what the hell happened. I mean, I know we're missing Duke. But I just don't understand how last season, I mean, what was the power play last, before Ekblad got hurt, the power play was smoking. It was Barkoff, Duke, Ekblad, Verhage, and Reinhardt, right? Was it Reinhardt? <laughs> yeah, we were going with, we were going with, uh, at one point we were going with five forwards. But that's after Ekblad got hurt. Before yeah, he got hurt, we were part, like... For the most part, we were going with four forwards. Bar right, so I, was, was on top. Yeah. The key to this power play today, last night, whatever, in the last... They took Kachuk. Remember I was saying? Yeah, yeah. Kachuk should not be behind the net. Right. Doing the Gretzky thing. He should right. be out in front where he's, you know, like last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to I wanna bring up this standings. The Let's PK see. was solid last night. Here we go. All right. So Bruins with 50, Maple Leafs 44, Lightning with 41. I mean, the top three is, is kind of set. Then you got the Panthers 34, the Wings with 32, the Sabres with 32, Senators with 30, Canadians with 30. So that is one, two, three, four, five teams within four points of each other. Over here in the Metro, you've got the Devils of 44, Hurricanes 42, Penguins 40, and then the Wild Cards, the Rangers with 39, the Islanders with 37, and we're also behind the Capitals with 36. Yeah, this, so that's, got, where, that's where we have our challenge. Right here. So you got Rangers four, five, and, five and six in the Metro with a lot more points than we do. Did the Islanders win last night? The they Islanders won. The Rangers have won six straight. The Red Wings are 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 nose diving. They're they've lost five straight. But like I've been saying, it was only going to take a few teams to start winning three, four, five, six in a row for them to get position. The Rangers six in a row. I mean the Senators. <laughs> the, remember the Senators. 
before the season, people thought the Senators would be the, were like where the Red Wings are, where like they could be a team challenging for a playoff spot. And, you know, but right now the Rangers, Islanders, those, that's who we're chasing. And you're talking about being five points, three points out. We're three points out of the Islanders at that eighth spot um, with the same number of games played. So there's just no more... There's no more room for error. Look at over here. One four, one seven, one yeah, six. Yeah, look at look at the Devils. I told you the Devils were gonna fall back to earth. Yeah, yeah. I don't so think they're don't, gonna don't, fall don't, to. The... Uh... They're not gonna fall out of the playoffs. That's. I mean, I I can't imagine that. that yeah, would be, I, I that see. Would be... I see. I see Carolina being the lead in the in the Metro. I think. I think you'll get there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look at the Penguins. Don't when be surprised seven. to see Carolina. By this time next week in first place. Right. Right. It's it's a slog, man. It's it's a it's it's a slog and there's no more room for error. We can't keep win one lose even win two lose one is not gonna do it. Win three. Win three lose one and we could probably We need a, we need a six or seven game winning streak. And yeah. that that always you know, those types of streaks always seem to, you know, just forget about the amount of points that you get. It just changes, you know, the locker room. Right, change the mentality, yeah. You know, that, uh, I mean, again, last year we had two 12-game winning streaks. Mm. Two! <laughs> Start the season off. Uh. Start the season off with a 12 <laughs> I mean... And that was including losing our coach. <laughs> yeah. So one must think, what would this team, where would this team be if we had a healthy, full roster? Right. Right. That is the question, guys. Right. All how right. good would, how good would, and, and if we had goaltending, how good would we really be if everybody was, you know, Oh, healthy and well, and no major injuries. We had Duclair. Right. Where would you rate this team? And I wait. I asked that question because hopefully, eventually, we will be. You know, um, what's the word? Um, fully whole, whatever. Right. Whole, whole, fully whole. <laughs> I, I think. I think that's the word. I think that's the right word. Well, how good a team are we when we're healthy? Well, we're still not going to find out because when we get healthy, we still got to get rid of a guy. <laughs> so listen, we could we could do again, <laughs> just taking the emotional feeling out of the picture. We can be we're okay without Hornquist. Yeah, but he's on the ice. He's skating. Yeah. So unless they're going to say he's able to skate but not play for the rest of the year, which would be the smart thing to do, but we don't know what he wants to do. You know what I mean? And that's the thing is we don't know. We don't know if Zito went to him before the season and be like, you know, over the summer, be like, can we, you want to waive that no move clause? And, and Warren Chris said, uh-uh. We don't we don't know if that happened, if nothing happened. Um and you know, ain't, ain't nobody gonna ask that question. He ain't gonna give that answer anyway. So I don't know. Um but it's good to have seen Duke back out there on, on the ice. If, if if he takes the full six weeks to play himself into shape, then you're talking about about February, beginning of February. And so I mean what's that? February, March, just just like ten weeks left in the season, nine, ten weeks at that point. I mean, yeah, <laughs> leave Hornquist on LTIR, and then add him to the roster for the playoffs. He'd be good and fresh and rested and ready to go. So, I hope that's what we do. I mean, I uh, what did they... it's right there on the plate for for Zito. You know what I mean? I mean, what if Z what if Duclair has to come back? Because he's he's the key to us making the playoffs. Well, he's got to come back. 
because I mean the, the dilemma is you're right. We're gonna have to do something, and the obvious move is you know trading Hornquist. Oh, I can't trade him. And just leave and, him on LTIR. And is he gonna waive his no move? I, 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 the move is to leave him on LTIR. I mean, he's already had a couple of concussion issues. Nobody's gonna trade for him. You know, we'd have to give up, right? I mean, Sanko or Hepo Niemi. Right. I, 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 yeah, because sense. the other team's just going to get them, and they got, what, six weeks of Patrick Hornquist left, and then there's no – I mean, there's no – I don't know. I mean, any team he'd want to go to can't trade him in the East because the only teams that would want him would be a team that would want that one more death piece for the playoffs, right? Unless of course, unless of course we stumble in these next couple of weeks and we're nine, ten points out, and then we start selling, then you know, which I the only way a team takes Hornquist if he waves and it's a big if is to get a young, you know, to get one of our players. Like yeah, Stanko, Hepo, right. Miami is that. That's why they make that move. It's not for Hornquist. It's for the other guy. Right, right, right. That would just be bad. That's why I'm like. It, I'm so perplexed how Schwint got included in that Kachuk trade. Cause, it's cause like Rubido and Weger in the first round was enough. I'm the one that said it. You he got hoodwinked. <laughs> oh, by the way, I don't even know. How's that kid doing? Uh, Keep talking. I'll look him up. I mean, is he in the minors? Is I'm he sure playing? He's, I'm sure he's still in the minors. He wasn't ready to come up. Anyway, Let's Kachuk see. coming back was big. It just, you know, forget about him scoring and whatnot. It's just his presence. Let's see. Cole Schwint um, is playing for the Calgary Wranglers in the AHL. Okay. In the last 10 games, he has four goals and three assists. Yeah, so, you like uh, that kid. I never heard yeah, of him. Until I, liked, I liked him. I liked him. I should have I should have said anybody but Lundell and Schwent. When I made my season preview, I said if there was one guy that could come from the AHL and and, and make the team is I liked Schwent. So I think I'm telling you, Bill Bill, <laughs> Bill watched the video, then he went back and said, Well, which AHL guy does Jaws like? Found out it was Schwent, made the offer to Calgary, and they said, Yes, exactly what I said. Yeah. I mean, why the hell not? At this point, every I mean it happened. <laughs> And so, so you, men you mentioned blame somebody, me. You mentioned another <laughs> very <laughs> deep part of our team who I didn't even like mention today, and how much we miss him, and that's Anton Londell. Yes, yeah, and I'm getting a little bit concerned there because he was almost ready to come back, and now he's week to week. <sighs> and this is yeah, the second I, I, season. I think though. you're right. Something's. Can't be the sickness. But I'm no, trying no, they, to think, I'm trying to think in my head going back before he got it. I don't remember him getting it hurt. Was, it was it's both. He was sick and had an upper body injury. And and From now what? it's just From upper where? body. What game? What I shift? Don't, I don't know. All right, guys, comments. Does anybody remember Lundell getting, you know? rocked on a check or something or right you know hit with a puck or hurt or die. i'm my mind is blank right now trying to think you know right. where he could have gotten hurt so if, yeah. if anybody uh can enlighten me on that one it'd be appreciated uh and lundell will come back because barkoff will be out i mean we haven't been whole like you said in the whole season <laughs> It's just been crazy. The whole season, because, yeah. you know, we start the season off and Duclaris right. is not with us. Right. And now 34 short. goal scorer, man. Yeah. No, no, you can't. <laughs> There's only so many guys you can replace. So, so I pray when he comes back that he's whole, you know. Well, he'll because have to play himself into shape. His game yeah. is speed. Right. So. And anyway, we not it would be nice to see Barker for Hagee and Duclair again. Yeah. Because then was... you got then you got uh <laughs> Bennett, Kachuk, and Reinhardt. Right, right. And then you got those, you know, the top six is solid. 
Right. And you got uh, Lundell, Lusterine, and then. Well, it depends. You know, it depends on the week. Could be Cousins, could be Heponiemi, could be Denisenko, could be. Yeah, Denisenko. Denisenko could, Denisenko could, Denisenko <laughs> right. could slot in on that third line right wing. Listen, yeah, but we got to have like Cousins' game has stepped up. Yeah, he's a gritty. He's a gritty player. He's he just what we were asking him to replace was basically either Achari, what Achari was, or Marchman, and it's just not. You know, it's, it's big shoes to fill, especially Marchman. You know. Yeah. So you know who they who we throw in. If somebody, I don't know why anybody would want Hornquist. I, you know, I love the guy again, but as far as his play, he's not really contributing. Colin White, I think, is, is could be the throw-in. Right. Yeah. I mean, maybe. Again, that's another guy that like Zito didn't really hit home runs this year in the in nope. the basement in the bar. He hit the home run in the waiver wire. He should just stick to the waiver wire. Yeah. Instead of trying to sign free agents, he should just stick to the damn waiver wire. Well, that's why that's why my feeling about draft picks and talent was the opposite. All talent right. wanted to do was just accumulate draft picks. Yeah. My thinking with draft picks is, you know, you get a 17 year old kid. Look at that kid, Mackey. I can't pronounce his name, Samovich, whatever. Sam, the guy Sam, is, Sam, Sam, yeah, the Sam, guy, Sam, he's Sam. in Michigan right now. So, you right. know, you draft the kid at 17, 18. It's rare that you come into the league at 18. It usually takes, you know, whatever, yeah. two, three years. Right. Fuck it. Just pick somebody off, the, you know, the waiver <laughs> yeah. wire. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's enough for today. That's enough for today. We had That's, a long one today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've had I had a long light. I had a long night. It's a 5-hour stream. Dolphins lose the last play of the game. And, and and somehow I woke up with less subscribers than I started the 5-hour stream with. So I I'm I'm going to take a nap now. <laughs> I did manage to get a recap and for both games up at one o'clock in the morning, I did, I did, I did do that. Um, and I'm here with you this morning, but now it's it's the, the the downstairs recliner is calling my name. I absolutely need a nap. <laughs> all right, we appreciate all the support. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Um, I may or may not go live later with football. I'm not going to know until it's time. I need a nap. And then we'll see how I feel after the nap. And it's cold. It's the high today is like 38 degrees. We're having February and, and December. Next weekend, we don't even get over 30. And usually that's like reserved for like the worst of the winter. So we're going to have a white Christmas. We'll take it. Anyway, I'm working on I'm working on a guest for uh, oh, hopefully good. for maybe for Friday, I'm thinking. Okay. Well, wait. Thursday, Thursday Friday. Yeah, yeah, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, because we don't want to interrupt anybody's Christmas. But Christmas is Sunday. Christmas Eve is Saturday. Yeah, I'm working. Right. I'm working yeah. on it. Okay, bud. All right, guys. We appreciate the sport, and we'll see you again soon.